A prayer wheel is a cylindrical wheel Tibetan, wily, core low, on a spindle made from metal, wood, stone, leather or coarse cotton. Traditionally, the mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum is written in Nawari language of Nepal, on the outside of the wheel. Also sometimes depicted are Dakinis, protectors and very often the eight auspicious symbols Ashtamangala. At the core of the cylinder is a life tree, often made of wood or metal with certain mantras written on or wrapped around it. Many thousands or in the case of larger prayer wheels, millions of mantras are then wrapped around this life tree. The mantra Om Mani Padmi Hum is most commonly used, but other mantras may be used as well. According to the Tibetan Buddhist tradition based on the lineage texts regarding prayer wheels, spinning such a wheel will have much the same meritorious effect as orally reciting the prayers. <laughs> Nomenclature and etymology Prayer wheel or mani wheel Tibetan, wily, mani chose core. The Tibetan term is a contraction, mani, itself is a contraction of Sanskrit sintamani, chose, is Tibetan for dharma, and kor, or korlo, means chakrano. Origins <inaudible> 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 The earliest recorded prayer wheels were written of by a Chinese pilgrim around 400 CE in Ladakh. The concept of the prayer wheel is a physical manifestation of the phrase, "...turning the wheel of Dharma", which describes the way in which the Buddha taught. Prayer wheels originated from the school of Shakyamuni Sutra, Volume 3 Pagoda and Temple which states that, those who set up the place for worship, use the knowledge to propagate the Dharma to common people, should there be any man or woman who are illiterate and unable to read the sutra, they should then set up the prayer wheel to facilitate those illiterate to chant the sutra, and the effect is the same as reading the sutra according to the Tibetan tradition, the prayer wheel lineage traces back to the famous Indian master, Arya Nagarjuna. Tibetan texts also say that the practice was taught by the Indian Buddhist masters Tilopa and Naropa as well as the Tibetan masters Marpa and Milarepa. Practice According to the lineage texts on prayer wheels, prayer wheels are used to accumulate wisdom and merit good karma and to purify negativities bad karma. In Buddhism, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have created a variety of skillful means to help bring practitioners ever closer to realizing enlightenment. The idea of spinning mantras relates to numerous tantric practices whereby the tantric practitioner visualizes mantras revolving around the nadis and especially around the meridian chakras such as the heart and crown. Therefore, prayer wheels are a visual aid for developing one's capacity for these types of tantric visualizations. The spiritual method for those practicing with a prayer wheel is very specific with slight variations according to different Buddhist sects. The practitioner most often spins the wheel clockwise, as the direction in which the mantras are written is that of the movement of the sun across the sky. On rare occasions, advanced tantric practitioners such as Senj Dongma, the lion-faced Dakini, spin prayer wheels counterclockwise to manifest a more wrathful protective energy. As the practitioner turns the wheel, it is best to focus the mind and repeat the Om Mani Padmi Hum mantra. Not only does this increase the merit earned by the wheel's use, but it is a mind stabilization technique that trains the mind while the body is in motion. Intoning the Mani mantra with mindfulness and the Bodhicitta motivation dramatically enhances the effects of the prayer wheel. However, it is said that even turning it while distracted has benefits and merits, and it is stated in the lineage text that even insects that cross a prayer wheel's shadow will get some benefit. Each revolution is as meritorious as reading the inscription aloud as many times as it is written on the scroll, and this means that the more Om Mani Padmi Hum mantras that are inside a prayer wheel, the more powerful it is. It is best to turn the wheel with a gentle rhythm and not too fast or frantically. While turning smoothly, one keeps in mind the motivation and spirit of compassion and bodhicitta the noble mind that aspires to full enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. The benefits attributed to the practice of turning the wheel are vast. Not only does it help wisdom, compassion and bodhicitta arise in the practitioner, it also enhances siddhas spiritual powers such as clairvoyance, precognition, reading others' thoughts, etc. The practitioner can repeat the mantra as many times as possible during the turning of the wheel, stabilizing a calm, meditative mind. 
At the end of a practice session, there is a Tibetan Buddhist tradition of dedicating any accumulated merits that one may have gathered during practice to the benefit of all sentient beings. Then Om Ah Hum three times. This is customary with Tibetans upon completing any Buddhist practice, including the practice of the prayer wheel. Tubton Zopa Rinpoche has commented that installing a prayer wheel has the capacity to completely transform a place, which becomes peaceful, pleasant, and conducive to the mind. Simply touching a prayer wheel is said to bring great purification to negative karmas and obscurations. Types Mani wheel The mani wheel, or hand prayer wheel, has a cylindrical, generally sheet metal body often beautifully embossed mounted on a metal shaft or pin set into a wooden or metal handle that turns on a circular bearing commonly made of turbinella shell. The cylinder itself is affixed with a cord or chain terminating in a metal weight allowing it to be spun by a slight rotation of the wrist. The weighted chain, known as a governor in Western technology, stabilizes the wheel and keeps it spinning with less input from the practitioner than would otherwise be the case. The common term, prayer wheel, is a double misnomer. A long strip of rolled up paper bearing printed or inscribed mantras tib, mani, rather than prayers, per se, is inside the cylinder. Mil, defined as a spinning object that generates something, is a better translation of the Tibetan core lo than as wheel since it is thought that the spinning cylinder emanates positive energy, allowing the practitioner to accumulate wisdom and merit. The Tibetan name of this device is Mani Cho's core. <laughs> Water wheels This type of prayer wheel is simply a prayer wheel that is turned by flowing water. The water that is touched by the wheel is said to become blessed and carries its purifying power into all life forms in the oceans and lakes that it feeds into. Topic: <inaudible> Fire wheel. This wheel is turned by the heat of a candle or electric light. The light emitted from the prayer wheel then purifies the negative karmas of the living beings it touches. Topic: <inaudible> Wind wheel. This type of wheel is turned by wind. The wind that touches the prayer wheel helps alleviate the negative karma of those it touches. Topic: <inaudible> Stationary prayer wheels. Many monasteries around Tibet have large fixed metal wheels set side by side in a row. Passersby can turn the entire row of wheels simply by sliding their hands over each one. Topic: Electric Dharma wheels. Some prayer wheels are powered by electric motors. Thardo Korlo, as these electric wheels are sometimes known, contain 1,000 copies of the mantra of Chen Rezig and many copies of other mantras. The Thardo Korlo can be accompanied by lights and music if one so chooses. Electricity can certainly be considered similar to the above sources of energy for PW, water, fire, wind. The merit generated by the PW is due to the power of the Dharma texts and mantras, not necessarily the power which rotates them. These PW turn all day, all night, all through the year. The lamas and practitioners who build, maintain and pay for the electricity rightly help to generate and dedicate the merit. In another point of view, Lama Zopa Rinpoche has said, "...the merit of turning an electric prayer wheel goes to the electric company." This is why I prefer practitioners to use their own right energy to turn a prayer wheel. Topic See also Mandala Pradakshina Buddhist prayer beads Stupa Tibetan prayer wheel Tibetan prayer flag Wheel of Dharma Topic References Schlegen Twait LLD, Emil, eighteen sixty three. Buddhism in Tibet. Augustus M. Kelly, nineteen sixty nine. Wright, A. R. nineteen oh four. Tibetan Prayer Wheels. Folklore Enterprises. Tibetan Prayer Wheels. All about the Prayer Wheel. Chondro.net
The Prayer Wheel, Dharma Haven.org. Prayer Wheels and How They Work, Nyingma Centers. Ladner, Lorne. Wheel of Great Compassion, Wisdom Publications. Gallery References External links Handcrafted wooden prayer wheels Dharma Haven. Org Picture of prayer wheel at Muktinath, plus backgrounds Nyingma prayer wheels for world peace The Internet prayer wheel Online prayer wheel <laughs>